शिक्षा YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और नए अपडेट्स के लिए बेल आइकन पर क्लिक करें Hi, my name is Prabhu Kiran and I am currently in my sophomore year pursuing electronics and communication engineering at the RK Institute of Science and Technology Hyderabad Telangana. So the reason I am doing this video is to share some important information regarding the admissions and the fee structure in my college. So before doing that, I just want to share some more information regarding why did I opt for ECE before those all branches. सो so, मैंने इस इसी इसलिए लिया था कि मुझे एक ऑप्शन रहेगा फोर्थ ईयर के बाद कि मैं सॉफ्टवेयर फील्ड में जाऊं या मेरा कोर में जाऊं क्योंकि हम हम लोग ये फोर ईयर स्पैन में इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स के बारे में सीखे सीख सकते हैं कम्युनिकेशन के बारे में सीख सकते हैं और प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज भी सीखते हैं क्योंकि हमें फोर्थ ईयर के बाद एक करियर में एक ऑप्शन रहेगा कि दो ऑप्शन रहेंगे आपके आपके पास इसलिए मैंने इसी लिया था सो नाउ कमिंग टू द एडमिशन द एडमिशन आर डन इन टू वेज द ऑनलाइन एंड द ऑफलाइन मोड द ऑनलाइन मोड इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु यूजली अपियर फॉर द एम सेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड बेस्ड ऑन दर रैंक दे एक्सरसाइज देर ऑप्शन ऑनलाइन एंड द सीट अलॉटमेंट विल बी डन बाई द कन्वीनर एंड they pay the the admission and the tuition fees online in the form of chalan and demand drafts payable at any nearest bank and the offline mode is for the students who don't really take the mcet examination or the entrance examination they just visit the college in person with their parents with the relevant documents and they submit those documents by paying the admission and the tuition fees on the spot and they'll get the admission on the spot now in these admission processes there is a little aspect of reservation for the castes for the backward castes the the scheduled tribes and the scheduled castes get 15% of the reservation and the backward castes usually get 10% and the minorities they they have different aspect of the reservation with them so this gives them a head of chance a chance before the backward caste the, the scs get the seat allotment before the bcs and the bcs get before the ocs the ocs don't really have the reservation under their belts so now the application fees uh, we don't really have an application fees we have the total fees in the form of tuition fees which is 55000 for our college which is really affordable in which 35000 is given by the state government under as fees reimbursement for the backward castes and the scheduled castes and a 10000 of merit scholarship will be given for meritorious students from the central government and the students can also can also opt for the e pass scholarships given by the state government of rupees 5000 each year so as coming to the batch intake our college intake is 120 members for per branch our college holds five branches like and 120 members are allotted their seats in each branch in each branch we have a lot more scholarships like from the state government and the central government <coughs> and the eligibility is really good for the reservation guys and they have really good reservation eligibility and the gender ratio coming to the gender ratio the gender ratio is 2 to 1 really our college holds good number of students it is a co-ed college there is no problem in that we just really merge together and we just we are really friendly and the acceptance ratio is really good the acceptance rinse ratio is above 85% for students almost every student with good grades and good rank can enroll themselves from our college they'll get into our college without any hassle hassle so at the end of the first year there is a there are more friends who will join us as lateral entries a college really <coughs> attracts a lot of lot lateral entry students like 50 per uh, like 25 members per branch are allotted their seats as in lot lateral entries because they have a lot of skills like they just don't take an ent- entrance examinations after the 10th they just they just do their diplomas and they after the 3 year diploma they just join the btech 
from the second year branches so i think i've given some information about my college admissions and please thank you and good luck hi my name is prabhu kiran and i am currently a sophomore student pursuing electronics and communication engineering at drk institute of science and technology hyderabad so i am going to share some information regarding my college and the facilities that we have on campus so coming to the location of the campus it's really good with nice connectivity it's green it's vast spread across 10 acres approximately and the nice thing about the campus is that it attracts a lot of birds we have a lot of birds on our campus flying around and it's a nice thing for a student to experience every morning so coming to the student diversity we have many students with all in all religions coming to our campus studying there and we have different perspectives going on so we can learn all of them we can share thoughts we can encourage them and we can derive a natural perspective to thrive in our community so coming to the on campus facilities they are really nearly satisfying with library with several thousands of books and on digital library and daily newspaper reading facility and no wifi and no atm whatsoever and the cafeteria is really good serves really good food with affordable prices and they serve really good ice cream as well so coming to the rules and regulations they are really strict and no student should wear t-shirts on campus and cell phone use is prohibited for the first years using during the work hours and and management really encourages students to be punctual in college so if not they held them responsible for for not being punctual and they cut off their attendance for half of today if they are late for the college so the rules are really pretty strict and one should follow them and coming to the fests and the cultural and traditional activities the rk has always encouraged students to participate in sports and extracurricular activities apart from the academics the management really make it possible for the students to make it happen and they make they held they have held like many fests in recent times there was it was like tekla 2019 the recent fest that got happened in our college and a radio mirchi fest that got happened in recent times and uh, there was a batkamma celebration and a traditional day in recent days so traditional things and cultural and technical fests are a really good thing at drk and they happen almost every time a year so yeah coming to the security the security really ensure the safety of the students they make them follow the rules and they look up for the students who are being ragged but ragging has not been a problem for us in in, in the recent past no one has been ragged and strict anti ragging measures were taken by the management itself so to ensure that the no no student was ragged in our campus so it's not a problem anymore and coming to the management it's really good it's re- it's responsive they solve student queries as soon as possible and they really make the student life hassle free so yeah the main thing about the main thing about the management is that they sometimes fail to respond in time and that's one of the negative thing about my college and but it's not a perfect world but it happens but they take really good measures to ensure to make students industry ready and they always make campus recruitment trainings possible for the fourth year students to make them ready for the placement drives and etc so overall it's it's a good campus it's a good college some negatives in it but it happens so thank you and good luck